Are you tired of feeding the hungry data beast of the corporate world your precious personal info? Got a boss who's convinced that every AI chat you have ends up in a top secret file somewhere? Or maybe you're just missing your favorite digital confidant because the GPT chat gatekeepers have put a lock on it. Hey there, and welcome to AI Explorers. I am your AI architect, here to help you explore the most exciting breakthroughs in AI and technology. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss out on any of our videos. Let's dive in. Today, we're taking a look at a fascinating project known as Ubabuga Text Generation Web UI, or simply Ubabuga. This open source tool provides a platform for deploying custom large language models, or LLMs, on your own hardware, be it a powerful GPU on your personal computer or a cloud hosted infrastructure all encapsulated within a user-friendly UI, accessible to users of all skill levels. It's kind of like your own private chat GPT. It's based on another project called Automatic 1111, which actually lets you do the same thing with Stable Diffusion, letting you customize the model and run it off your own hardware to create AI images. In this case, we're creating our own AI chatbot. So if you already have chat GPT and BARD available to you, why would you want to use Ubabuga? Well, there are several compelling reasons. Number one, privacy. While platforms like ChatGPT and BARD may share your interactions with their development teams and AI trainers, Ubabuga operates on your own system and your infrastructure, safeguarding your sensitive information. Two, tools like ChatGPT and BARD are generic and their knowledge is frozen as of 2021. Custom AI models like Llama, Llama CCP, and Vicuña offer tailored AI experiences, potentially outperforming in specific tasks and potentially offering more updated information, especially if you can train them with your own information. Three, one of the standout features of Ubabuga is that it allows you to tweak the core functionalities of your AI model, enabling you to create and save unique AI personalities adjust various parameters, including the AI's creativity and factual accuracy. This not only deepens your understanding of AI's workings, but also opens up exciting possibilities for its applications in diverse scenarios, such as telling it to be more creative. And finally, because it's free, if you've got a powerful enough GPU, you don't need to keep paying for ChatGPT4 or Midjourney and Stable Diffusion credits. You can just use the hardware you've already got. So now, if we wanted to install this on our own computer, we can head over to GitHub and go to ubabuga slash text generation web UI. The link can be found in the description below. And that will take us to this page where we can find the files for the text generation web UI, as well as more information about how it works and how it's based on Atomic 1111. There's also more information down here about the backend, the LoRa's, and so on and so forth. If you want more information about any of this, please leave a comment in the comment section below and we can make more videos going into details about what all of these things are. What's important to us is to come down here to installation and one-click installers, where we can just download an installer to get ourselves set up quick and easy. And you should be able to see that it downloads here pretty quickly. Okay, uh, I've put it here in its own folder but you don't have to. So if we just go over here to the file, we can extract it and it will create its own folder. So you don't need to go ahead and do that. Now, one thing that's really important to make sure is just check that no folder in the hierarchy has any spaces in it, because when you try and install it, it is going to give you a problem. So we can just jump in over here and just go straight to start and it will just start the installation for us. It's really simple, really straightforward. If you want to understand a little bit more about what's going on, you can open up the instructions file, which tells you what to do, tells you a little bit about the flags you can use, which change how it works. And again, we can get into that later. For now, we're just going to click start windows.bat and you may get this Windows protected your PC screen, especially if you're running a antivirus or a Windows Defender. Turn those off as they can cause a problem. If this comes up, you just go over to more info and then run anyway. And then you'll get the command line come up which shows you the progress of the installation. 
It should take a few minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your internet connection. It could take 5 to 10, maybe 15 minutes. So let's come back here when that's done. Okay, and once it's done, you'll get a screen that looks kind of like this. It'll ask you what GPU you're using. I'm using an NVIDIA, so I'm going to go ahead and say A, but if you're using an AMD device or an Apple M series, you can choose those. Now, if your GPU is not powerful enough or for whatever reason you want to run it in CPU mode, you can type that in, type in D. However, I don't recommend it. It can bring up a lot of issues and your AI may not run well. So in our case, we're going to hit A. And that's going to finish installing it for NVIDIA. Honestly, I'm also really curious to see how this runs on a Mac. So if that's something that you'd like to see, please leave a comment in the comment section below. As you can see here, it's installing. Once it's all done, we'll come back. And we're back. And when it's done, this is what it should look like. So all the installer files are here. Everything is downloaded and installed. And at the end, you should get a link like this one, which means that you're now installed. Now, every time that you want to reopen this, once it's installed, you just head back over to your file, just click Start Windows, and it'll take care of the rest. And if you need to update it, you just use win uh, Update Windows. Now, this is what the UI looks like. This is where you chat with your bot. Um, you can even tell it how you want it to reply, whether you want it to use chat mode, chat instruct, or instruct, which is more towards giving it instructions. Here you've got your character gallery where you can save the personalities that you might have saved for your chat bot. In here are some of the chat settings where you can put in uh, your name, your character's name, some context about its personality, as well as additional instructions and really customize it however you want. There are also characters online that you can download and uh, bring in here and play around with. In here are the parameters where you can mess around again with how the chatbot handles your language model, whether it's more creative. You know, you've got things like temperature which handles the creativity where the higher value is more random and a lower value is more factually driven and so on and so forth we can create another video and so on and so forth we can create another video all about this if you guys are interested once again please leave a comment in the comment section below model this is where you upload your model Training, this is where you can train your model further by giving it more information and more things that you want it to learn. And finally, interface mode. And again, if you guys want more details on any of these, we can create videos just for them because I think each of them could handle its own video. Now, model. You'll notice here, if we try and open the model, we don't really have a, a model. So there's nothing for us to really chat with. Now, where do we get models from? Models can be gotten from a website called Hugging Face. Hugging Face is basically a GitHub for AI stuff, especially language models. You can look for models, datasets, users, etc. So we're going to try one called Vicuña. which is one of the ones that is closest to ChatGPT. It's been trained on ChatGPT responses, and uh, you've got an uncensored one and a censored one. So if you don't want to deal with all of the censorship that uh, ChatGPT has, which is one of the reasons why you might want to use something like this, you can go ahead and check it out. So what you do, is once you've chosen a model you like, and again, we'll have a couple of videos going over different models, you copy it up here, head back over to your UI, and you can drop it in here and paste it and download. And it'll start downloading the model directly from Hugging Face.
And as you can see, now that we're on the link and on the chatbot, we can just start chatting. Now, one of the things that you need to keep in mind when using these AI chatbots, if you're installing it on your local machine, you need to have a pretty beefy graphics card, specifically with at least eight gigabytes of video RAM. Even then, you're kind of pushing it. Definitely, you're going to struggle with six and you're going to run into errors. I'll make another video about some of the other common errors that you can run into and how to solve them. Ideally, if you are running this on a video card with 10, 12, or more gigabytes, you'll, you'll get similar a similar experience to what you've got with ChatGPT3. Having said that, if you don't mind it running a little bit slow, you can have a lot of fun with this. And because it's uncensored, we can do all of the fun stuff that you can't do with ChatGPT, like having a sexy story or having a dalliance conversation back and forth. As you can see though, it runs very slow. Unfortunately, I'm running on a computer with around eight gigabytes of video RAM. Hopefully in the future we can upgrade it and we can do more stuff as that's gonna be required for some of the other generative AI projects that we've got going on. But if you enjoyed the video and you'd like to see more and you'd like to see us explore the various features and components of Uba Booga, please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so you're notified of when a new video comes through. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.